guys, how y'all doing? Okay, well guys, let's talk about herpes. <laughs> yeah, I said it. Let's talk about genital herpes. What, does that make you feel a little uncomfortable? Let's talk about sexually transmitted infections in HIV AIDS. You know, I kind of consider STIs like a gift. Well, a crappy gift, but a gift nonetheless. You know, a gift that keeps on giving and giving, but unfortunately for most, has a horrible return policy. <laughs> you know, I know it seems weird, but I'm the person at the party that was talking about genital herpes at a drop of a hat. And you know what, honestly, I'm okay if it makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable, if it makes you think twice about having unprotected sex. You know, in order for you to fully understand why I'm so passionate about preventing people, especially young people, from getting HIV AIDS and other STIs, you need to know my backstory. So, this is me when I was 10. <laughs> yeah, I know, I really blossomed since then. <laughs> and this, this is my superhero cousin Deke. My superhero cousin Deke was so awesome. Awesome with a capital A. He weighed over 250 pounds, played professional football for the Pittsburgh Steelers, was invincible. Well, was invincible until he got sick. Until he got sick from a preventable four-letter disease. Yep, my superhero cousin Deke was HIV positive. You know, honestly, at 10 years old, I saw what AIDS did to not only his body, but how it destroyed my family emotionally, how it destroyed his mother's heart, how his mother would give him 30 pills a day and, he would, and she would cry every night because she, her baby was dying and she couldn't save him. Yep, my superhero cousin Deke. My superhero cousin Deke died at age 25 of a four-letter disease. He looked so bad when he died, weighing less than 60 pounds, that at his funeral, my family told everyone to leave the church when they opened the casket for the last time because they didn't want people to see how bad he looked and remember him that way. So let's fast forward to me in my 20s. I graduate college, think I am so super cool and fabulous because I'm doing PR and marketing. First I'm in New York, then I moved to Houston, partied with the best, the fabulous, most celebrities in the world, and I thought I was the shiz. You couldn't tell me anything. But you know, honestly, something on the inside was telling me, Ashley, this isn't it. This isn't your passion. You're not making a difference in the world. So I decided to volunteer at AIDS Foundation Houston, where I work with young girls and their children who are infected and infected by HIV AIDS. I'm not gonna lie. When I first met these girls, they looked just like me. And they were younger than me, but they were positive. And I kind of freaked out on the inside, saying, oh my god, you're so young. Like, how did you get this disease? Like, you're, what are you gonna do with yourself? You're 20, like, how are you, you're positive. And then I realized it just takes one time. It just takes one time to have unprotected sex. So, after working at on Eastern Houston for a while, I decided to quit my job and jump ship for my cubicle life. And then I moved to South America. I know what you're thinking, who does that? Who just moved, puts their job and moves to South America? I did. <laughs> First I was in Argentina teaching English, then I went to Colombia working with marginalized populations, working with young kids who were, who were catching STIs left and right from their boyfriends and had no idea how they got it or even how to prevent it. I even worked with exiled soldiers of the FARC. One kid in particular named Andres, 14 years old, got HPV, and unfortunately got the strain that causes genital warts. Yeah, at 14 years old, he has to get genital warts surgically removed every two to three months from a preventable STI. You know, honestly, I would pray to God at night that I wouldn't have to experience or see half the things these children saw. But when I woke up in the morning, I'd be so passionate about what I was doing, I knew this was it. I knew this was what God wanted me to do. So let's fast forward to now. Now I'm a student at Tulane getting my master's in international public health where I can talk about herpes all the time because it's my job. So, long story short, life is short. Follow your passions as you have no idea where it can lead you. And please, wrap it up every time, all the time, because it just takes one time to get a preventable STI. Thank you. Woo!